this going to be slippery? Yes, 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 yes it is. Hey everybody, how's it going? I knew there was a big leak in the pool. The bottom of the pool, the liner, it's like 12 years old. It's time. Hopefully the bottom is not too bad. The shallow end is uh, pretty much empty. So I ordered a liner online. I had, you have to give them like 20 dimensions, everything precision dimensions to get it. And they just make it. Free shipping, a little uh, stressful, hoping that it fits properly. So this is a time lapse of how you take the old liner out. First, let's remove the winter safety cover. And ooh, that's green. So yeah, you just get a utility knife and uh, slice the old liner. That's kind of fun and easy. And uh, just take it out and throw it away. Okay, so there's a lot of leaks in the bottom of the pool, so there's a lot of water under the liner. Let the liner go under the water and just suck out as much water as I can. Now we're getting to the hard bottom, which is sand and cement. And unfortunately, it's pretty eroded from the leakage. This is a cool perspective of the pool. Right now, I would be nine feet underwater. This would be a good, good warning. For now, I'm just fighting the uh, water table, which is constantly leaking in. But I just want to have it, you know, I want to seal it and uh, get it smoothed off for the liner before I put the liner in. First, I used hydraulic cement to try to stop the leaks. That's a time-consuming process. Now, this is fiberglass reinforced cement to uh, try to uh, patch the really bad part. Vermiculite is a, uh, a, com a, a combination of cement and uh, it's got like a little styrofoam beads in it and it makes it uh, softer so the liner sits on it it's easy to use first of all it's easy to mix and trowel and it's uh, and it's softer and it, and it gives it a, a kind of a little bit of a softer base for the liner to sit on so everywhere the hard bottom was eroded I just filled in with this vermiculite concrete mix and uh, try to smooth it out as much as possible Pretty hard last night after all. They said it might rain, but I didn't think it was gonna wash off all the frigging vermiculite I put on yesterday. It's an ongoing saga. Hopefully this will be the last time and then we can uh, throw the liner in. That'll be the easy part, if it fits. So I got pretty good practice at uh, putting that stuff down. And I decided to uh, sand the coping and repaint that before I put the liner in. Here's Scott and Fred getting ready to help me. And the kids came over, Nick and Gavin, helped me put the liner in. Definitely helps with more people. Nice drone shot. Time lapse. My brother Steve was there too. Got to put the uh, rods in for the steps. They're all built in. Well, it fits. Fits good. We are putting water in it. Is this going to be slippery? Yes, 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 yes it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, 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 ha!
Yeah, so I probably broke something, but what are you going to do? Carry on, and I'll check it out later. Yep, that wasn't too smart. Definitely heard a cracking sound. And I can't move my hand very well. Yeah, just keep the uh, vacuum on, sucking the liner to the wall, and fill it up with water, and try to get all the wrinkles out. When it gets up high enough, then you uh, cut in the outlet and the skimmer. So my neighbor got his garden hose coming out of his his house. He's on vacation, so he doesn't know about it. But no, kidding. So let's see what his temperature is. 69 degrees. 69 degrees coming out of, see, most people think it's like 55 degrees coming out of the ground, but not in the summer. Not when it's like this. Sure, mine is similar. 25,000 gallons equals 17 bags. Ha! That's a lot of salt. Yeah, I decided to go with a salt purification system this year. It's uh, all the rage. It's working. Okay. 64 years old. And I've never broken a bone until now. So we're going to get it operated on. They're going to put a, put a plate in there. Fix me up. Let's get her done. I just had my knee done like a month ago. So I'm like a regular here. I'm starting to feel woozy. I'm going to take some video. <laughs> so go ahead and turn your head to the left a little bit. Okay. Yep, just like that, yep. Right wrist, right We're blocking right the nerves yeah. that Pinch control your okay. arm. Pinch. Can you see the liquid coming out? Oh, yeah, there, 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 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told you you can't take the surgery, right? I was hoping you would. He wanted to. <laughs> I guess it's all done. It's been like two hours I've been sitting here. Hold that picture up. And this is where the break is, this white. Right there. Steel down the whole way. and screws. Wow. Seven screws. That's pretty substantial. Mm -hmm. She's going to go get the car. All right. So, and do you have everything you came in with? Do you anything? Yep, except money. Uh, I had a million dollars in cash. Oh, really? <laughs> Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Happy hours for Monday. We'll give you a call sometime after 8 o'clock. Alright, awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Crazy. Well, the time went fast for me. I, I think I think it's still usable. Hey? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can... This is weird. For 18 hours. Can't, you can't fake that. Look, it's like it's like it's. Whoa! It's protected, and I get to go in the pool finally. It's been about ten days, and time to get this thing taken off. George. There we go. A big reveal. There we go. Turn it right over. What's that? Turn, Turn it over. It over. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> they gave me a brace. At least it's removable. Now she wants me to go physical therapy. I said, what? All right. I just walked past oh. my car. The pool's been working great. One of the last steps is putting this thing called a liner lock in and I don't know if you can see it but see how the liner it's already pulling away from uh, the coping I don't know why I don't know if that happens with everybody but this liner lock uh, is just a plastic beading that uh, 
put goes in between the liner and the uh, coping and it's supposed to keep it you know locked in forever which it does I had it in the old liner first I got to get the liner back up into the uh, groove and that I think is the best way to do that is with hot water which I have running to my basement to the hose get your hands a little hot too and it'll stick to the liner better your fingertips I think I find stick better when they're nice and soft and hot ow this is hot you gotta work quick all right grab it grab it pinch it pull and push pull and push pull and push when you get to the very end it's the hardest part maybe a spatula will help get that in there there it goes and I push this in make sure it's in all the way okay I guess we didn't have the liner seated really good when we first installed it and then the water pulled it down it's in it's in spray spray a little soap seems to make it go a little easier and then just get a big hammer and whale on it this is about a 125 foot perimeter, so it's a very tedious operation. So that's the only way I know how to put that, that beading in. If you've got a better way, if you know of a better way, please put it in the comments. I would love to know. I just have to use a block of wood and a hammer and just chip, 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 chip. And my wrist isn't fully healed, so I'm only going to do a little at a time. You gotta love a nice hot summer day, especially in New York because there's really very few of them. If you have an in-ground pool in New York, it's probably gonna have to be replaced every 10 years or so. And uh, it can be done. Uh, hopefully, you don't have to break your arm to do it. That's up to you. My advice would be once you start putting water in the liner and you want to go down to the bottom to get the wrinkles out, go down on your ass. That would be my advice. I'd love to get a thousand subscribers because then you start to get a little compensation, but it's minor, but it would be fun. So good, good to see you again. Have a great day and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'm Mark and I'm out.